Hi guys, thank you so much everyone for joining us today. And today I want us to go through a comprehensive session of either, either flyer. I have realized that we have not uh, done a comprehensive session uh, for either flyer and people are finding difficulties when they are trading or they want to deposit, withdraw or to buy Ubri coins in either flyer. So today we will focus on that. I'll, I'm, going, I'm going to take you through localcryptos.com. I'm going to take you through etherscan.io and then finally I'll take you through uh, either flyer and tell you how to buy Ubri coins, how to deposit Ubri coin and ETH to the exchange, and then finally withdraw them to your personal wallet. So I'm just going uh, to go ahead and share my screen so that we can go uh, through how to uh, to buy Ubri coins in uh, either flyer. And to do that, we say the first step when you want to trade as a beginner, you want to start at localcryptos.com. Localcryptos.com is a website where you can get if using your uh, your local currency. We said that we, we we prefer starting with ETH because Ubicoin is built on Ethereum blockchain and we want you to buy ETH. You, you have to buy ETH so that you can get Ubicoin. And uh, for those who are not new in cryptocurrency world, you can use other coins to buy Ubicoin. But for those who are new, I want you to start at localcryptos.com and, and get access to your ETH so that you can go ahead and buy some Ubri coins. So when you get to localcryptos.com, you want to click on browse so that you can see uh, you can see this uh, this page where you can uh, we have an option to buy Ethereum and Bitcoin. But we said that we are going to major on Ethereum. But for those who want to buy Bitcoin and use that to uh, to uh, to buy Ubri coin, it's okay. But today we are going to focus on Ethereum. Then you have the payment method. You want to choose uh, what payment method works for you. For those who have bank accounts, for those who want to do international wire transfer, you can do that. You can choose here. We have a lot of um, different payment method. So you want to choose which one suits you well. So I'm going to to uh, to select international wire trans international wire so that we can see uh, we, you can see that it doesn't matter where you are you can it, as long as you are you have internet you can buy it from local crypto talk localcryptos.com. Localcryptos.com is in the cloud and it, al it allows you, as you can see, it doesn't matter where you are in the world, you can buy uh, ETH from localcryptos.com. And countries do not mean that you have necessarily to buy ETH from where you are. You can buy from other countries so long as you have uh, the same uh, or you can pay that person using a uh, a payment method that is available here. So since we are here in Kenya, we, we are used to uh, using M-Pesa, so I'm just going to use M-Pesa. And then when you, I, I, I search M-Pesa, because most of the people who receive or who accept M-Pesa and who are selling it are here in Kenya, it out of fields here Kenya. So from there, we have different people who are selling uh, ETH here. You can see we have Mose Rich, Bitmaster, and others. And these people sell ETH at different prices depending on how much did they buy their ETH. So here you can see this person is selling at 6.3% above the market price. And we have the second person here selling at 8.6% above the market price. So this is something that you want to consider when buying uh, ETH from these people. You want to go for the, for the person who has the lowest um, price, but at the same time, we also have to consider the limits that they are selling uh, ETH at. For example, this person is uh, willing to sell up to 97% uh, 97 thousand Kenya shillings. He cannot go above that. So if at all you want to spend more than this, you you may consider going to a person uh, who who has that much like uh, like switch watcher because he can sell uh, up to 100k and you can see there is a difference uh, between their prices. This is selling at 23 thousand and, and this one is selling at 25,000. So most of the time, these are some things to consider. You might sometimes buy from a person who is selling at a higher price because of the limits. So you also need to consider that. And you also need to consider how many trades have they done 
in the market. So I'll just go ahead. For you to purchase, you just want to click on uh, here where it is written by uh, Kenya Shillings 23,909. So I'm going to uh, go with that. Then from there, you have to select how much do you want to spend in buying ETH in, uh, with this person. And here, I want to buy uh, ETH uh, worth 30,000 Kenya Shillings. So you're just going to type there. And if maybe I can change this, if I write 20,000 Kenya Shillings, you can see here the, the amount of it has changed so uh what you want to buy the amount you want to spend will dictate how much it you want to, you will get and then you can start uh to open the trade you have to start with a message you can say hi you can say hello so that uh when you open the trade it's going to take you to another page where you are able to to converse with this person who is selling you ETH. And from the conversation, he will send you at the number that he wants you to send the money. So make sure that you get that number from this platform. Do not allow this person to send you the number in your personal, in your personal number. Just work it out here in the platform. And then uh, something else I need to mention is that do not pay unless this person sends money, the ETH to the escrow. Escrow is the system, the local crypto system. The escrow allows you to trust the person that you, you, you are trading with because after all, you don't know this person and they can maybe, if at all, we do not have the escrow system, which makes crypto, local cryptos very safe and you can be able to trust the person that you, you, you are working with because they are going to send it uh, from their wallet uh, to the system and you can be able to see that in the, the, the when you you click on open trade the page that opens there is somewhere where it is written uh, escrow so the bars will shift when the, the 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 escrow is loaded so make sure that you have seen the money has been loaded to the escrow so that you can proceed with the payment when the, you proceed with the payment the, the the system is going to release that if now to your wallet after it is released to your wallet you want to click on wallet here so that you can see your balance here your balance will now increase with the amount that you have just bought so after you click here you want to click on ethereum so that you can transfer this is from now localcryptos.com to the either flyer one either flyer wallet so uh i'll show you how to get the either flyer uh, address but that is what you are going to paste here to address and then you're going to insert at how many uh if you want to transfer from localcryptos.com to either flyer and because uh we are doing this remember we bought it so that you can buy it and i would advise that you you take everything to the exchange so that you can get as many ubri coins as possible before the price goes up so um, i'll go after you are done with localcryptos.com, you want to proceed to etherscan.io. We said etherscan.io is a website that records everything that has been happening with Ubricoin since it was launched. So when you open etherscan.io, you want to search for UBN and wait for the drop down menu to appear and then you can click on Ubricoin. Don't just go ahead and search this because it's going to give you an error. You want to wait for, for it to the drop down menu to appear and then you click on Ubricoin. Bitcoin. When you click on Ubricoin, it's going to show you how you Bitcoin, uh, the, the, these are details about you Bitcoin. We have the price for you Bitcoin. We have fully diluted market uh, car for you Bitcoin. Then we have total supply and the address and holders. We want to make sure that the number of people who are holding you Bitcoins increase, like they go up each day. So make sure that you invite your friends to buy as many you Bitcoins as possible before the prices go up. We have seen before that you uh, Bitcoin prices always changes. And with time, we have seen, uh, people making profit and people who bought Ubricoin area, they are uh, making, uh, at this particular time, they have made a lot of money. So what you, we are focusing today here is the exchanges because you want to go to the exchange to buy Ubricoin. So just click on the exchange and it's going to bring you a list of the exchanges that Ubricoin is listed on. And in these exchanges, we want to click uh, on UBN if uh, okay, today we are focusing on either flyer, so we are going to click on UBN is uh, market. When you click on this, this is going to take you directly to the market etherflyer.com. And when you get to etherflyer.com, you can be able now to buy Ubri coins from etherflyer.com. And in etherflyer.com, we have 
uh, we have different things here. Let me just mention that if at all you're new here, you want to create a wallet here, I already have an address. That is why it is written uh, my address here. But if at all you're new here, this will have, we read account. What you need to do is click on the account. I'll just go ahead and click on my wallet so that I can illustrate to you how to create an, that address or rather that wallet. For you to create a wallet, if you are new, this will, the way it is written, export private key or clear wallet, it will just be import. And we do, we, we advise people to create a wallet every, for, for new, for if you are Totally new in either flyer, just create a new wallet. When you create a wallet, it will bring you a mnemonic phrases. Uh, these are 12 words that are very useful and you want to keep them very safe. If possible, just record them on a paper and then keep that paper very safe because if at all you miss or the, the, you are logged out of either flyer, those are the words that you are going to use to recover your accounts and if if you lose those seed phrases we cannot recover them for you so you need to keep them very safe so make sure that you keep those seed phrases well and make sure that you have written them well do not mix um if if it's written with lower cases just make sure that you have noted them down in lower cases if it's upper cases just note them down that way because if at all you mix them it's not going to bring you your wallet so make sure that you do that when you uh, you create the account or rather you create then the you you have you, you have created a new wallet now you are you are you are you, the either flyer account will look like what i have here and then from here you can see here i have uh an option to copy. So if I want to deposit some Ubri coins or ETH uh, to this uh, to, to my wallet, I'll just click here, copy. When I click on copy, uh, when I click on copy, you can see it has said copy successful. So I'll just go go back. I'll say okay, and then I'll go back to. Uh, if localcryptos.com because I said I'll show you how to get the address and then you're going to copy paste. You're going to paste that address here and now you can say how much if you want to transfer and that that is how to deposit if uh, from localcryptos.com to either flyer wallet. So you just copy here take that and paste it in localcryptos.com. That is how to deposit uh, if uh, from localcryptos.com to either flyer. So after you deposit um, ETH to this account, I want you to note that in either flyer, we have two wallets. We have the wallet that we have created here, and then we have a wallet for the exchange. And the wallet for the exchange, to, to load that wallet, you need to come to my asset because you want to move now uh, that from this account to the to the exchange. So you are going to click on my asset. When you click on my asset, it's going to take you to uh, where you can see how which coins you have. And since we do not have any coins at this particular time because we are beginners, we are going to uncheck this hide zero balance. When we uncheck that, it's going to show us a list of coins that are in this exchange. And from here, we are going to search the coin that we want to deposit. Right now, we have just bought uh, lock, uh, ETH from local cryptos.com so i'm going to search for it and then i'm going to you can see it is the first one here we have an option to deposit this is what you want to click on when you want now to transfer if from your uh, the, the address that we created here now to the exchange to do that uh here it will uh you you want to say how much uh, if do you want to deposit? And in this case, um, I'm assuming that you want to take everything that it was in your wallet now to uh, to this exchange. You are going to indicate how many UBNs you want, uh, how many if you want to deposit. And then here you are going to, uh, when you are creating that, you are creating the account, you are supposed to, 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 to set up a password. That is what you are going to, uh, to use here. And then you say deposit. When you do this, the funds will move uh, from this address to the exchange and now you are ready to buy some Ubri coins. So to buy Ubri coins, you will come to the here exchange and then you will go to the main board and click on it. 
click on main board and it's going to take you to the exchange. Alternatively, you can go back to uh, etherscan.io and then click again on UBN ETH market. This allows you to go directly to that market. I'll, I'll show you the difference between uh, clicking uh, um, etherscan.io and what we had we, when we click on exchange. When you click on etherscan.io, this is what you get. You get UBN ETH market. Uh, okay, sorry. Let me just uh, yeah. Uh, let me just redo this again. When we cl we click on uh, here exchange main board, what's going to, it is going to take you to a different market. Uh, so what you want to do is go back to etherscan.io and get either you get UBN ETH market and you want to make sure that you check here that you are indeed in UBN ETH market because if at all you're in another market you you might buy a different coins because a coin because you can see if at all we had uh, we had these let me show you the difference between what I mean by a different market you can see this is ABB uh, ETH market if you buy you use ETH here to buy if you do transaction here you won't get ubn you will get abb coins and we don't want that what you want to do you want to make sure that you are in the right market so just click click there then search for ubn here when you search for ubn click on ubn if when you click on ubn if the market will shift now from abb to ubn if market so when you're in the ubn if market just come to uh, to this section where we have we said red is sell and uh, the red is sell orders and green is buy orders and for you to buy UBN you want to go for the sell orders because sell orders are people who are selling UBN so you want to buy UBNs from these people and we said uh, the, the 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 bottom the bottom uh, red order here is the the first sell order in this market so you want to click on that um, sell order and then you're going if at all it, it is enough for what you want to buy you just click here on buy but if at all you want to, you you just click here on buy but if at all you want to buy more than um for example 100 100 000, you are going to click the second the second order and it's going you can see now we have uh, we have this plus this here. If at all you want to buy more than 133,000, you want to click even on a higher price until you get to where the amount of UBNs that you want to buy. If you, if, when you do that, if, if at all I click here, you can see, um, you can see that it adds the, the total when it adds it doesn't mean that you're going to uh, to buy this at this price it means just the, the price will be exactly what is written here so you'll buy 100 at 0 0.00000011 and then the other amount will you will buy from this so just make sure that you click on the order that you want to buy and then just hit on buy and that is how to buy Ubri coins using ETH in either flyer. The next step that I want us, I want to take you through is how to withdraw Ubri coins from either flyer. Now, because you have already purchased uh, Ubri coins in either flyer, you want to go to my assets. When you go to my asset, it's going to take you back to where we were in uh, in my asset. But since now you already have some coins. Now you already, because you have just bought some Ubri coins, it will show up here. But because I don't have any coins, I'll just uncheck this button and then search for UBN. But for you, it will just show up there. Now I'll search for UBN so that I can sh show you how to withdraw the UBNs from the exchange. So what you need to do when you get here is click on withdraw apply. When you click on withdraw apply, it's going to uh, bring this, um, window where you can say how much um, how many ubns do you want to withdraw from the exchange then you can indicate that here the balance will definitely be what you have just bought and then you're going to insert your password and then click on apply uh, here it's where have people have been having a challenge when you withdraw here it means that you are withdrawing from the exchange to your address 
okay? It means that you are withdrawing from the exchange address to the wallet that you created here. So what you need to do next so that you can see, uh, you, can, you can have access to these Yubri coins, you want to import this address to your personal wallet. What I mean by personal wallet, there are some people who are using Trust Wallet, others are using Coinomi, others are use, using Metamask. You want to import this wallet to, this address to that wallet. These wallets, they usually accommodate more than one address. So just feel free to, uh, to import this wallet to that, uh, this address to that wallet and it means that when you you do that it means that that address is linked with either flyer so what i would advise because you're advising people do not store your all your car all your ubns in the exchanges because the wallet is very safe but the exchanges are not that safe if they're not as secure as the personal wallet the personal wallet there is no one who can hack the personal wallet and if at all your address is linked with an exchange you need to uh, to uh, to transfer those ubns now to your personal address the other address that you had initially in one wallet you can have different addresses and you can name them differently maybe you can name one as a trading you know wallet the other one you can even put your own uh, your name just to make sure that other you can do you can also say that you are holding them you can just say for holding you know just save them in different names so that your money can be secure and to import uh, what I mean by importing this address to your personal wallet it means that you are going to use the seed phrases uh, and then you use the seed phrases to open or to open this address in your wallet. So make sure that you do that and then you transfer those UBNs uh, to another address so that they are going to be safe. Do not store them in this address. So basically that's how to uh, to buy it from localcryptos.com. Go to, um, uh, to either scan, come to the exchanges, deposit and withdraw UBNs. And for those who have UBNs and they want to be active traders, uh, we, are, we are also going to cover that in a different session. So make sure that you go through the, the steps uh, and buy as many UBRI coins as possible. Thank you so much for joining us today. It was a pleasure having you and that is all for today. Thank you, bye-bye.